what can you observe that is different and enticing about parrots that bird watchers might like? Parrots, they catch people's attention. Um, they're bright green. People mostly see parrots in cages, so they can't believe how bright they are and how conspicuous they are. But I tell you, when a green parrot flies into a green tree, it just completely disappears. Um, but I, I think parrots are of interest to us not only because they're, they're brilliant and unusual, but because they're in some ways like us. They commute. Uh, so they get up in the morning, there may be large uh, groups, communal groups of them together, and they fly off to where the food is. So they may fly two miles, five miles, ten miles in a day to where the good feeding is, so that's their job. And then at the end of the day, their job is over and they commute back to where they root. So we often see parrots, be since we're commuting in the early morning and late afternoon when they are, we often see them flying along our freeways and over our roads and things. So I think that... that sort of summons up something in our own behavior as well. Parrots are also, they're very social birds, and because they're social, they interact um, vocally with each other, and other, which is a polite way of saying they make a lot of noise, and they can hear each other a long ways away. That's probably one way that flocks can know where individuals are and find each other and find food and find roost sites and so on. So they're, they're very very noisy, very social. And finally, in most of our parrots, the pair bond is very strong. So you'll very often see, even within big flocks, males and females right together as, as pairs or as couples within the flocks. And when the young have left their nest in the late summer or midsummer, they join one parent at least, if not both, and they beg for food. And so you can hear begging young for even a month or two after they've left the nest in these flocks. So a lot of these behaviors remind us of our own behaviors. Thank you. So you mentioned that about the trade and back, um, I guess, 20 C was uh, legal back then. And a lot of them were brought. And I came across this article that talked about the Van Nuys Bush Gardens where they had a big amount of parrots. Do you think that? Maybe a source, or that's an urban legend? There are a lot of urban legends about the source of our parrots, and like most urban legends, there's a grain of truth in, in many of them. Um, a lot of parrots probably were released in large numbers because of an aviary, um, the roof blowing off, or pet stores that were threatened by fire and the birds were released. Um, another legend is that Bush Gardens, which was out in the San Fernando Valley, released their parrots when they closed. Uh, as far as I can tell from researching that, that's simply not true at all. In fact, most of the parrots that they had at Bush Gardens aren't even the same kind that we see around Los Angeles. So sure, birds used to escape occasionally from Bush Gardens, but they didn't release parrots that founded populations here. So it's probably largely shipments of birds coming in that got released, maybe because uh, the they were smuggled in and the smugglers were about to be caught. Certainly some pet stores, some aviaries might have lost numbers of birds, but there are probably hundreds and hundreds of different individual incidents that resulted in all these parrots being here. 